From churches to popular music festivals, we are seeing more and more vaccine requirements mm -hmm. popping up all across Metro Atlanta with no sign yet that our surge in COVID cases is slowing down. Brittany Klein Peter now kicks off our team coverage as DeKalb County and a church tells its parishioners no vaccine, no service for you. Atlanta alone has more than half a dozen mega churches, some of them averaging more than 10,000 parishioners on any given Sunday. Those high numbers combined with the spread of the Delta variant are now prompting some faith centers to take extra safety steps. We are not apologizing for being the most conservative and the most cautious during this period. Piney Grove Baptist Church in DeKalb County says it's requiring worshipers to sign a waiver, get their temperature checked and show proof of vaccination before attending in person services. We said we were going to follow the science, not our emotions. Everybody wanted to come to church, but we want to follow the science and we did just that. The church has about 3000 active members, 5000 total and staff say they began requiring proof of vaccination several weeks ago and they're not the only faith centers enacting COVID-19 protocols. Mount Ephraim Baptist Church in Bankhead is also asking to see vaccine cards and all of the other churches seen here are recommending or requiring masks and temperature checks. The congregations and their leaders are at a very difficult place right now because most of us we want to be welcoming and open to visitors or even our own members in our congregations. And um, that bumps up against such things as you can only enter this space if you're wearing a mask, for example, or you can only enter this space if you're vaccinated. Emory Professor of Theology Edward Phillips has been working with church leaders and scholars nationwide to create guidance for congregations. He says there's no one right way to respond and the Delta variant is changing many faith centers policies. Let's be willing to be really open and forgiving of people who are struggling and who might make decisions that we, you know, as an individual might worry about at the same time, uh, not to allow misinformation that we know is misinformation uh, to hold sway. Shalom. Unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who rule well, who taught me this truth. No respect and salutations to the fellow Akim, the house of David, the hopefully elect Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah, brought a thumb to you, Akim, as well as the sincere Akwa that are listening and learning. So, yeah, they, they've been compromised. All right, these are 501c3 holders. And now we know why. These certain camps, these certain leaders of Israel, all right, these different camps have been pushing to get to you know what from you know who. Infidelity is over, man, right? All you unfaithful individuals and you uh, people that attend these harlot houses and, and, you know, these camps that proclaim to have the truth, they're no different. They're harlot houses as well because we see the horde on them. We see the idolatry. We see what is written in the scriptures for our learning to, to, to stay away and to avoid them. So we're going to get this lesson started, Lord Will. This will be uh, edifying and comforting. This is the book of Romans, chapter 1 and 16. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Hamashiach, the anointed, Yahweh Shai. This is what the apostle Paul was speaking on. He's not ashamed. It says, for it is the power of the Most High unto salvation to everyone that believeth. The gospel is the power of, of the Most High salvation. It says, to the Jew first and also to the Gentile. You can be born in Greece. You can be born in uh, Corinth. You can be born in uh, Alabama. You can be born in New York, Texas. It's about your father. If your father is of the line of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that means you're an Israelite. That's who Apostle Paul was speaking to. This is who he went to. Verse 17, for therein is the righteousness of the Most High revealed from faith to faith. It is levels to faith. It is levels to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. And we know Hebrews 11. All right. We know these things. 
So therefore what? We should teach and preach these things according to the gospel and the testimony of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Things that are written in the past time for uh, was written for our learning. Roughly paraphrasing. Right? So we see what's going on. We like, damn, well, <laughs> you know, it, it, it's going into the uh, crevices of the neighborhoods. And who the majority that, that holds up these harlot houses, these churches, these temples made with hands? Uh, Jake. All right? You, you two-thirds out there, man. And if you don't repent and turn back and trust in the Lord and have faith in the Lord and hope in the Lord, hey, you're going to die in your unfaithfulness. This is 2nd Edges 15, chapter 4. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. You see there? And this is what we're seeing. We're seeing that these certain camps that's pushing the you-know-what from you-know-who, these certain churches as well that's pushing it, they have no faith in Yahweh, why Yahweh shy. Okay? Matthew, see, because all we have to have is, 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 we have to trust. We have to have, we have to trust in our own faith. It is written, hey, faith to faith. There's levels to it. You may have faith in this, you may have faith. You got to believe it and, and know now that these people that's, that's pushing and they're saying to that congregation, take it, take it, take it. You know, we all heard it. They don't even have faith in what they're telling you. They're not even convinced. Matthew 21 and verse 21, St. Matthew 21, 21. Yahweh shot answered and said unto them, Verily I say unto you, if ye have faith and doubt not. <laughs> See, that's the whole key. You might have faith, but you doubt like, ah, I'm not sure. And this is what these camps and these churches have. They have faith, but they like, ah, shit, I done seen a couple videos. I seen TikTok. <laughs> See, eventually the devil just going to take this shit away. You know, it says, and doubt not, ye shall not only do this, which is done to the fig tree, but also if ye shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed. And be thou cast into the sea, and it shall be done. And yeah, that's going to take place. If you have that faith, if you have that uh, 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 that belief, right? You're going to do what Yahweh Shai did, man. A fig tree sh supposed to bear fruit, as Yahweh Shai uh, uh, case. He walked up to it, was no fruit. Uh, fruit was not on it, and he was hungry. He wanted to eat. Therefore, what happened? Boom! Off with his head. You know. And it's going to be done. You, you, you have to have that faith again. Let's go to the book of uh, St. Mark, chapter 9. This is verse 23. And it reads, Yahweh Shai said unto him, If thou canst believe, if you, if, you, if you can believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. If you believe. That's the key thing. That's the key word in that scripture. If. Look at it again. If thou canst believe. Now, let's get a precept right quick. The book of Matthew, chapter 6. It's like it. Chapter Luke. It's like it. Luke, chapter 18. And verse 27. And it reads, chapter uh, St. Luke, chapter 18, verse 27. And he said, The things which are impossible with men are possible with men. The most high. It's, it's, it's no variant in that. It's nothing extra. It's nothing less. This is what the scriptures say. Written in blood. Yahweh Shai's word. You think you can move a mountain by your own strength. You think you can, you know, uh, uh, overcome a, a cold, <laughs> the flu, pneumonia, you know, the thing. You, you can't do it. It's impossible with men. But, it said, it is possible with the Most High. This is what you have to believe. This is what you have to have faith in. Yahweh Shai ain't playing with you people, man. Right? Let's go to the book of uh, Sirach, chapter 2. And we're going we're gonna to get it. Look at the generations of old and see did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Well, let's answer that question. No. <laughs> we know through faith and, 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 and through 
uh, 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 remembrance and scriptures written for our learning, we know that King David didn't back off from that uncircumcised Philistine. Why? Because he had faith. We know that Daniel didn't fall in the lion's den. Because why? He had faith. We know that the three holy children didn't bow a knee to Baal. Why? Because they had faith. They believed in the only one that could deliver them from the situation, the predicament, or whatever they got themselves in. And King David came as a young man. He was, man, who the fuck is this? You know, have, have not y'all read what happened in Egypt? And this is what happens. The remnant is going to be left. That's why it's, it's the house of David, <laughs> the remnant is going to be left because you have way more of, of the people that don't believe than it is that the ones that do believe. Right? It says, or any, or, or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Even Susanna, the story of Susanna, read that. They false accused. She had faith. Who he raised up? Daniel. Judge. <laughs> y'all people got y'all people killed me, man. Hey, but it, hey, prophecy must be fulfilled. It says, of whom did it did he ever despise that called up on him? The three holy children, Jeremiah. Joseph in the pit, uh, King David, you know, Daniel we mentioned already. You see? What, what, what more do you want? What more do you want? We're going to give you more. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 9. They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. Because we see a lie, we know a lie when we hear it. We can discern from uh, righteousness. We can discern uh, from wickedness. You know, we can tell. And how do we weigh? How do we measure? We do it through the scriptures. It says, and such as be faithful in love shall abide with him and he with you. Right? It says, for grace and mercy is to his saints. Personal. And he hath care for his elect. That's that's personal, man. That's intimate, right? That's discrimination. <laughs> but what's going to take place? But <laughs> the caveat of things, the ungodly shall be punished according to their own imaginations. There's there's new variants. There's new variants. They they have been uh, uh, hoodwinked and behooved into believing a lie, which is from Yahweh Shah, right? They was deceived to believe this lie. Because the sorcery and the witchcraft of Esau Edom is is it's gonna fail soon, but it's still it's still you know having hold onto you non-believers, you you non-faith having individuals out here. It says, which have neglected the righteousness, uh, so like it, which have neglected righteous, right? And forsaken the Lord. And this is what you did. How did you forsake the Lord? You, you, you put your trust in pseudoscience. You put your trust in men. You put your trust in princes that say this thing we know, all right, this going to get rid of so you can get back to sinning, so you can get back to transgression. Lord ain't dealing with you, man. We, we know now that these the, the Lord, how about Shem Yahushua, is not dealing with a lot of people that's out here on the on the social medias and the media and the YouTubes. Even though they might have the skin and the bones, you know, Geno Jennings, uh, 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 what this what this new guy is that that played Isaac Bruce, this guy, this pastor, talking about Hebrew something, uh, Salaki, I forget it. Nevertheless, he he comes with the skin and the bones, but he don't come with the breath. All right, why? For whoso despises wisdom and nurture, he is miserable, and their hope is vain. Their labors are unfruitful. That's what happened to the fig tree. <laughs> you was unfruitful. <laughs> and their works unprofitable. So whatever you divvying in and diving in, they're unprofitable to you. How about Shem Yahushua? You got to understand that. Understand the story of the two blind men that follow Yahweh Shai. He said, believe. He, the first thing he said was believe. Let's get that. The first thing he said, 
Ya how sya? Believes? <laughs> Believeth? Uh, Matthew 9, let's start at 23. It says, and when Yahweh Shah came until the rule, Salakia 9, uh, uh, that's Mark, that's Mark, 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 Salakia. I'm going to get it. It is 9, 9, 9, 9, 28. 28. There, here we go. Boom. The water Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah. And when he, St. Matthew 9, 28, and when he was coming to the house, the blind men came to him. And Yahweh Shah saith unto them, <laughs> I told you. See, the scriptures are written for our learning. If you don't believe that, then I don't know what to tell you. It says, believe ye that I am able to do this? Is a faith, the faith is according to your faith. They said unto him, yeah, Lord. Then touch he their eyes, saying, according to your faith, be it unto you. Bowling. Man, come on, man. Hey, and with that, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Again, look up to the stories of old. Even these two blind men. First thing he said, written in blood, believe ye that I'm able to do this. You have to believe. You have to have that faith. As it says in our Hebrews. All right? 11 and 1. Tell you what? Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. You, that's the core of this ministry. Faith, having that faith. Having the faith that the names are the names all right, of, your, uh, of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Son, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai? Okay? So, let's see. We, did we get? Yep, we got that. Uh, let's end this off right here. And the book of Matthew 6 and 30. And it reads, Wherefore, if the most high soul clothe the grass of the field, which do uh, which today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, which is speaking on of, of uh, the destruction, this last regime that he set up by the way of uh, Job 9 and 24. All right. The, the grass is, is going to wither. Okay. Say, hey, 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 well, for, let's read it again. This is your Habashah's words. Well, for, if the most high so clothe the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, that fiery furnace, that lake of fire, by the way of those nuclear missiles, shall he not, shall he not much more clothe you? Oh, ye little faith. <laughs> you know, this is why the scriptures are written all right, in intricate details, you got to have an analytical mind to understand, like, damn, y'all shot, man, golly. Hey, that's all you can say. Shall he not much more clothe you, O ye little faith? Again, look into the stories of old. See who he have forsaken. See who that did call upon him, man. Roughly paraphrase in the book of, uh, what's that, uh, Sirach, chapter 2. And read that whole chapter. Lord willing, this was edifying and comfort. On to the next one. Shalom.